it's four o'clock. Not only the balance with them. I'll call the meeting to order. Um, roll call. Sorensen here. Decker. Here. Ackley. Here. Donahue. Here. Feldy. Here. All right. Approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from our November 11th meeting? So moved. <laughs> I'll second. Motion by Mary Lynn, second by Barb. I didn't Barb. know Dean was uh, making a motion or? <laughs> Waving somebody. <laughs> okay. All right. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Those minutes are approved. All right. 3.1, general ordinance number 25, 2021, an ordinance amending proportion portions of chapter 46 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code relating to the non-discrimination and fair housing. Um, any questions or motions? There are no questions. I'd like to make a motion. All right, motion to approve by Betty. Second. Second by Dean. Any further discussion? Mary Lynn? Um, I just had a couple questions for Thomas. Um, so who is the hearing body for the city on these claims? That is a great question. Give me just a second. I don't remember um, ever having a claim. It looks as though the board is the city plan commission. So I presume the thinking is because this is sort of housing related, it, it ends up there. And when, when hearing is defined, uh, it's defined as a hearing under the jurisdiction of the board, except where otherwise indicated and board is the plan commission. Okay. So this is a wonky question, but um, well, two things. It, so it, in the fair housing scheme, is this an exhaustion of administrative remedies that's required, do you think? You may not have an opinion about that, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's a, is it a hurdle to, to a federal claim or a, even a state claim? So ha having thought about that for all of 30 seconds now, I think I would say no, it's not, because we're essentially providing another cause of action. So I don't think that it would foreclose any any other claim. It's sort of another avenue. Okay. Um, do you, and does anybody on the committee here, or has anybody ever heard of a hearing under this provision? I mean, you've been on the council I'm, the longest, Mary Lynn, so... No, I remember in the late 60s, having a fair housing ordinance was a big deal in Sheboygan. And I'm proud to say I was on the forefront of that. Um, <laughs> but in the way, way, way back machine. Um, but, um, and I certainly approve of all the changes that, that have been made. I think those are just, you know, a, a necessary update. Um, but I wonder who knows about this. I mean, particularly, so there's this concept that if there's an administrative or if there's a something available to you to address your claim, you have to do that. You have to go through that process before you before you file a you know a claim like in in court or whatever. Um, and Thomas is saying that that's probably not required, and it's neither here nor there. But what are we doing to make this well known? I mean, I think I think that would be interesting information to have, Thomas. Is if there's ever been a hearing under this, and how it's handled. Is there a hearing examiner? Um, you know that kind of thing. So, um, I think we can. Start, I would certainly be in favor of approving it today, but I think we could move forward, uh, maybe at the council meeting, with just some additional info. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly happy to, to talk with Chuck about that um, and try to make sure that there's a little bit more information um, available um, at, at council if that's what the committee uh, wishes to do with this with this ordinance at this time. 
I mean, I think we should go ahead and, I mean, if, if it's the sense of the committee to pass it to do that. Um, but I would be interested in, one, if it's ever been of use, and two, if it hasn't, how do we make it useful? Mm -hmm. If that's okay with everybody. All right. Any other comments, questions, or discussion? All right. Seeing none, all those in favor of approving this, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right. Moving along. Application uh, RO number 98 2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending. June 30th, 2022, beverage operating license application number 3394, change of premise application number 3381. Staff uh, recommendations are to recommend holding this for further review. Make a motion to hold. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Barb? Ryan? Yep. I have a question for Thomas. Um, I think, if I'm correct, that this has been like maybe the second, third meeting that for the Meyer store that they've, you know, held it. Is there a reason? I believe the issue relates to the actual uh, description of the premises and getting that um, sort of locked down. And while I, I don't want to speak for Meyer, um, I'm not sure that we were um, we, we didn't have an answer from them on Monday and given that Black Friday I think is still a, a pretty big thing in retail um, you know obviously nothing has come come since then so I think it's just making sure that we've got a, a good understanding of their description uh, of the of the premises which didn't uh, wasn't present initially so do they keep changing it or they don't know what the script, I mean, why is it keep getting bounced to the next meeting? My understanding is that the original, uh, the original amended premises had a line and it was not a uh, confined box. And okay. we're waiting on them to provide the information to make it a, a confined box. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of holding this, please state aye. Aye. Um, aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. All right. RO number 106, 2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2021, and June 30th, 2022. Staff recommendations are holding this one as well for Lee. Leroy Ortega in the taxi cab driver's license application for Christopher Benieri, Judy Jody Gordon, William Ro Ro Rohar, um, and granting the remaining applications and noting that the beverage operating license granted to Alexander Dean and Lisa Wyman will not be issued until they're dealt with the significant monies owed to the city. Is there a motion to accept staff recommendations? The move is set out by the chair. All right. Motion. Second. Second. Second by Betty. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. Next meeting date, December 16th. Seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, is there such motion to adjourn? So motion. moved. Second. Motion by Mary Lynn. Second by Dean. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We're adjourned at 409. Thanks, everyone, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.